With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is when 3 gram of carbon is burnt in 8 gram of oxygen, 11 gram of carbon dioxide is produced. What mass of carbon dioxide will be formed when 3 gram of carbon is burnt in 50 grams of oxygen? And also which law of chemical combination will govern your answer? Okay, so if we talk about this, then carbon is combining with oxygen and leading to the formation of carbon dioxide. And it says that 3 grams of carbon reacts with 8 grams of oxygen and leads to the formation of 11 grams of carbon dioxide. Okay, but the question says that what happens when you have you are having 3 gram of carbon and 50 grams of oxygen, then how many grams of carbon dioxide is going to be formed? If you look into this question, in the first case, as you can see that 3 gram of carbon is combining with 8 gram of oxygen and leading to the formation of 11 grams, right? So, one thing is for sure that law of conservation of mass is being depicted here, that uh, 3 plus 8 is equal to 11, right? So, basically, mass of reactants is equal to the mass of products. So, one law that is satisfied here is law of conservation of mass, right? But that is not the answer because it says that uh, which law is going to govern our answer. So, there is one more law that governs our answer. So, basically what happens is that as you can see here that only 3 grams of carbon reacts with 8 grams of oxygen, right? So, 3 grams of carbon needs 8 grams of oxygen to react with. So, when you are adding 50 grams of oxygen to 3, three grams of uh, carbon, what is going to happen? The 3 gram of carbon is going to react, it is going to still react with 8 gram of oxygen only. Because as we saw in the above reaction, it was obeying the law of conservation of mass. It means that 3 grams react with 8 gram of oxygen only. Which means that whichever amount you are taking for oxygen, only 8 gram of oxygen is going to be used when you are using 3 gram of carbon, right? So basically, 42 gram of oxygen will be left. 42 gram of oxygen will be left because only 8 gram is going to react with it and 11 gram of carbon dioxide is going to be formed. So, basically, this also shows the law of definite proportions. The law of definite proportions or the law of constant proportions. Right. So, basically, what is happening? That there is a definite ratio in which it is combining. 3 gram of carbon is always going to combine with 8 gram of oxygen. Right. So, they are combining in the 3 is to 8 ratio, in a 3 is to 8 definite ratio. Okay, so that is why the law of definite proportions is satisfied here and always if you are using a given amount of carbon which is 3 gram in this case it is going to react with 8 gram only. Doesn't matter how many grams of oxygen you have available, only 8 gram of it will be reacted and other will be left behind. So 42 gram will be left behind, 11 gram of carbon dioxide is going to form and it obeys the law of definite proportions. So that's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.